This is The Real News, and I'm Jessel Noor in Baltimore. The European Parliament has formally invited NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden to testify in light of his revelations of widespread spying by the world's international spy agencies. Here's a clip of a recent interview he presented. A child born today will grow up with no conception of privacy at all. They'll never know what it means to have a private moment to themselves, an unrecorded, unanalyzed thought. And that's a problem because privacy matters. Privacy is what allows us to determine who we are and who we want to be. The conversation occurring today will determine the amount of trust we can place both in the technology that surrounds us and the government that regulates it. Now joining us to discuss this is John Weeks. He's a professor emeritus and senior researcher at the Center for Development Policy and Research and Research on Money and, and Finance Group at the School of Oriental and African Studies at the University of London. Thank you so much for joining us, Professor Weeks. So, Professor Weeks, um, Edward Snowden hasn't decided if he will accept the European Parliament invitation. The United States has urged um, Europe to rescind this invitation, and one British member of the European Union Parliament says that he should not testify, that he is in fact endangered lives. Give us your response. Well, first of all, I think that um, Edward Snowden is a great U.S. patriot. Uh, uh, I think that um, it's an understatement to call him a, a whistleblower. He's more than that. He is a person at considerable uh, cost to himself. Um, has reported crimes being carried out by the government. So I would say that that's, that's the first point to make. And I think many people in Europe, many politicians in Europe, recognize that. And I think that that is why the European Parliament invited him to speak. We're talking about here a Parliament for t that includes representatives from 27 different countries. And they have formally extended an invitation for him to speak. The shocking thing about this is that it would be difficult, if not extremely dangerous, for him to come and testify in person. Of course, because he's, he's currently, um, he has temporary asylum in Russia, so he can't physically, if he physically tried to get to Europe, he likely would be um, intercepted by U.S. forces. Well, yes, I mean, I think that the, what uh, some of us uh, here, and I've, um, I have a contact with some progressive British um, members of parliament and one uh, progressive member, uh, British member of Labour Party, from the Labour Party of the European Parliament. Um, the, if um, European Parliament were to grant him uh, immunity from prosecution, he would have no difficulty entering uh, Britain, because um, Russia has a um, border with several uh, European Union countries. But that would require the European Parliament to take a very major step. Uh, it's enough of a affront to the United States to invite this great American patriot, which he is. Uh, it would be even more of an insult to the United States, a well-deserved insult, to grant him uh, uh, immunity from any type of prosecution or uh, extradition. I very much hope they do that. I think that the reason that this was extended, this invitation was extended, uh, progressives and uh, uh, liberals and libertarians are concerned about the question of spying on people's individual um, activities, you know, people who have committed no uh, uh, offense. Um, and so they're concerned about that. Uh, I think there also there are many conservatives um, uh, who are concerned about uh, uh, human rights and believe that we ought to have due process of law, that you shouldn't go around snooping on people unless you have some reason uh, to do so. So I think that there's quite a broad coalition <clears throat> in the European Union and certainly in Britain that supports what Snowden did. And I get the feeling that there is some movement 
uh, in uh, the White House about this, but I think not enough to um, uh, warrant uh, Snowden taking any chances uh, about it. He, uh, he could not be extradited from Europe because of the European Union regulations, but the U.S. can make his life very unpleasant. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure. You can follow us at The Real News on Twitter. Tweet me questions and comments at Jessel Noor. Thank you so much for joining us.